Dennis May spent 18 years on death row. He was convicted of a murder he didn't commit. And now he's fighting to get rid of the death penalty. Fox 2's Teresa Woodard is live at the University of Missouri St. Louis with who is backing the fight in Missouri. Teresa. Cindy Juan Roberto Melendez was the 99th person to be exonerated and freed from death row in the United States. So it's no surprise that he wants the death penalty abolished. He does have a surprising ally. You were in? 17 years, 8 months, and one day. He walks free now. I was innocent. For so many days, he didn't. And I always tell God, it took too long, God. 17 years, 8 months, and one day. I give to you uh, Juan Melendez. Juan Roberto Melendez's story mesmerized people at the University of Missouri St. Louis. He was sentenced to die in November of 1984, then spent 18 years on Florida's death row for a murder he did not commit. It's like a bad nightmare. That you can, you can never wake up. Missouri has made mistakes too. St. Louis native Daryl Burton was released from prison in 2008 after serving 24 years of a life sentence for murder. He was innocent, as was Josh Keezer, released in 2009 after 16 years. They were not on death row, but their wrongful convictions are haunting enough for a Republican lawmaker make history. For the first time in Missouri, a Republican is the main sponsor of a bill to abolish the death penalty. If I'm really a pro-life guy, am I really pro-life? I mean, is that all life or just, uh, to just what's convenient, just for the baby's life? Is it everybody's life that I should be caring about? And I think I, I should. I think I should be feeling that way. So. Melendez is a sudden fan of Representative Mike McGee, agreeing with another of the lawmakers' arguments that the death penalty doesn't make financial sense either. The state can't afford to do this anymore. It's cheaper to keep them locked up, throw away the key, than to end up trying to put them to death. To me, this is personal. And we need more people like that who can think like that. We can never, and it's simple, we can never release an innocent man from the grave. Representative McGee admits this legislation will likely not pass this year, but he hopes he's planting a seed for the future. Melendez was freed back in 2002. He spent the last 10 years traveling the country speaking. Live on the UMSL campus, Teresa Woodard, Fox 2 News.